Well, let's talk about Woolworths now. Or, or you wanted to add something? No, that's there, fine. Paul? I think uh, we'll tease all of those themes out because they affect people, of course, differently. Woolies, we're going to have to be quick about because, I mean, we talked about it yesterday, right? Well, then let's just chat very quickly Actually, about it. Actually, the day it. before. We know it's a combination of food and clothing retailer, operates in South Africa and Australia. Right, so we talked about its food business the other day, but we sort of wandered into the clothing department. That was my fault, I'm sorry. That is big, and it's a big part of earnings, and of course it's much bigger in Australia. But the market cap has deteriorated from the 100 plus where it was 69 before. billion rand to be exact. Price to earnings ratio 14.5, dividend yield here of 4.8%. Joseph, your thoughts on uh, Woolies? Uh, the point was made that they have been lagging on the clothing side, specifically on Country Road. Well, they are ma mainly known for food uh, as a food retailer, really, at the upper end of the food retailer. So they've just started entering into the clothing uh, market through obviously the uh, David Jones um, entry into Australia. And here, they were known to be selling the cheapest of them all <laughs> in terms of clothing. So the young people never used to really uh, go to Woolies in terms of trying to get clothing. But I still believe that right now, given where the share price has come down from, it's looking attractive compared to the um, other retailers. Well, Paul, you gave it a hot yep. on our conversation two days yep. ago. And uh, just look at the share price graph there, and we'll give you a sense of... And that reflects, so the all-time high, I think, was 104 rands a share. We owned them during that period, and it's been a bit of a tough ride since then. So, look, I think the food business is fabulous. The clothing business here, they did tremendous work in that period from 2010 onwards to revamp in Moya, basically went with the yep. concept of fast retail. They did a lot of improvements in their buying technology, making sure that they projected a new, younger, fresher model, and that's brought people into the stores. Also, a degree of multi-branding through, you know, witchery, country mm. road, trainery, Fantastic. and the Fantastic. Is it working, though? I think so, although it's right in the space, as you say, which is getting competition from the likes of H&M and Zara, which are coming into the big high-value malls like Mall of Africa, like Joseph At says. At very good price points. Exactly, Let's not trying to that. break into the market by really leading with very high uh, you know, value items in relation to quality and price. So that does put pressure on. But of course, Woolies has got a much bigger and more established store footprint than some of the internationals that might have three, four, five type stores. What about Australia? Um, well, I, I think if you look in terms of Australia, uh, things will start improving there. I think they've managed to bed down. I think it says obviously Moy has done a great job uh, within the Woolies. So once the f uh, retail of the clothing business starts trying to mesh uh, your food business, I think we should be able to start seeing the earnings coming through and, and certainly filter through in terms of the share price. It's can a strong economy, Australia. This? I mean, what can one say other than that, you know, it's like a developed country. It's going to wax and wane. It'll have good times and bad times. We know that they're doing a lot of work to change the mix in those stores, lower costs, rejig their use of properties. So I think uh, Woolies remains attractive. Great management team. They'll get through the problems related to weather and buying and all these other short-term extraneous As problems. I always say to Paul, spoken like a holder <laughs> of the stock. <laughs> Indeed. And I know that you have this one as well. Certainly. I think it's trading kind of almost about 20% discount to, 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 to fair value. And, and I think, as he said, you know, it's coming from about 104, 105. So, so I think now it's, it's an opportunity uh, for to investors to start getting into all this. Hot or not, Joseph? It will be hot. Hot or not? It will be hot. Yeah, let's stay hot. Well,